Hannah, the glacier's physical appearance isn't the only thing that is changing here. That's right, Anita. In fact, it's the taste of the water. And the reason we know that is a PhD student, Ben uh, Pelto, was doing his field work in the Rockies and Columbia Mountains over the past five years. Uh, here he is uh, standing on a, a glacier in the Rockies. And one of the perks uh, alongside the beautiful views, drinking glacial water straight from the source. And the past couple of summers, he noticed how much the water had tasted like soot. But uh, I want to show you more of these uh, incredible pictures uh, from, again, those glaciers just in the past couple of years. And you can see how dirty they look. And that is what is most concerning to scientists the fact that indeed the albedo of the ice is changing, that's a word to describe the ref reflectivity of a surface. And generally the darker uh, a surface is, the more it absorbs solar radiation and the warmer it gets. So that's the big concern right now, Mike and Anita. Okay, so looking ahead, uh, what might this mean for those glaciers and, and also for the wildfires down the road? That's the big question because the rate of melt is quite hard to uh, measure and this is quite new research. I want to uh, take you to a glaciologist out of the University of Calgary who's looking at this big picture right now. Take a listen. If you're getting a bad fire season, it's already hot and dry. It's already a tough summer for the glaciers. So if we're actually getting these darker glaciers these summers, it's just like kind of kick when you're down a little bit, it's even worse. It's a potentially important effect that's missing right now in our models. So for the river forecast projections for Alberta and Saskatchewan, it's pretty important to know how long these glaciers will be with us and it's starting to look like the fires will be part of that story. So scientists have started to turn their attention to this phenomenon on both sides of the Rockies because, as you heard, right now this uh, positive feedback loop hasn't been entered into our long-range climate models. So uh, this is going to be something scientists will uh, look more into over the next uh, couple of years, and I'll keep you posted. Well, we look forward to that. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome.